After a very successful service of songs, a tribute and a commendation service held in Lagos State, Nigeria, in honor of the late Idea Hababa Saba, High Chief Sunny Widikyo Dogu CFR, a great philanthropic leader and detribalized Nigerian who passed on at the age of 91. On Thursday, the 24th of January 2019, a week service was held at St. Patrick's Catholic Church at Saba Delta State where a large congregation of friends, family members, and well-wishers gathered again in honor of the late Chief Sonny Odogu CFR. Guests at the wake service in honor of the late Chief Sonny Odogu Odogu CFR were His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Delta State, Governor Ifanyo Koa, General Ike Wajuka retired, Minister of State for Petroleum, Dr. Ibe Kachuku, Presidential candidate of the Young People's Party, YPP, in the 2019 election, Professor Kinsley Mogalu. The wake featured mainly singing, prayers and tributes in honor of the late Chief Sonny Odogu. On Friday, the 25th of January 2019, family members, friends, and well-wishers converged at the Diahaba Mansion, the palatial abode of the late Chief Sonny Odogu, where he was laid in state and prayed for by some Catholic priests. There was a large congregation of Asaba people who came to say their last goodbye to Pilau of Asaba. Members of the prestigious silent club, led by the chairman of the club, Mr. Olabanja Ladakbo, were also on ground to pay their last respects to their former chairman board of trustees. They sang the club's anthem and doffed their caps in honor of the late Chief Sonny Wediko Dogu CFR. I am club with the anthem of the peacock is for truth and dignity. I am club is for fellowship. Is it is for comradeship. Hey, I love love. From there, the remains of the late Chief Sonny Odogo was moved into the church, well surrounded by his wife and children, as hymnal renditions rent the air. Eminent personalities present at the funeral mass service were the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Barrister Kinsley Utuaro, who represented the Governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifanyo Koa, the Executive Governor of Edo State, Mr. Gordon Obasaki, former Governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori, former Governor of Akwaibom State, Obong Victor Atta, former Governor of Delta State, Dr. Emmanuel Duaga, General Ike Wachuka retired, Otumba Adekule Ojora and wife, Irilu Jolakbe Ojora, 
the chairman, publisher, and chief executive officer of the Guardian newspapers, Lady Medina Alex Ebro, among other high profile guests. The opening prayer was said by Bishop Michael Udugbin Roye, after which the first and second Bible readings were taken from the Book of Lamentation and the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The passages were read by Lady Patricia Ngozi Boise and Uche Benedicta Okosa. In the sermon of the day, delivered by the Most Reverend Father Michael Udugu, he said there's need for everyone to fulfill their purpose in life, as there will be a day that everyone shall give account of their stewardship. He used the medium to implore Nigerians to emulate the virtues of the late Chief Sonny Udugu, who was committed to the development of humanity. After the sermon, there was a tribute session during which the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Barrister Kinsley Utwaro, who represented the Governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Yukoa, said the late Chief Sonny Odugu was a visionary leader who led a good example for the younger generation to follow. He also used the medium to commiserate with the family members of the late Chief Sonny Uedriko Odugu, CFR. There's no need to say in the past. Ashu Sami Udogo has lived a most outstanding life, living legacies for all of us to uphold. Therefore, take strength and courage on the truth that he has already transmitted and we are going to meet him someday beyond. Again, you are not there for and appreciate very many who have come from far and near to condone the family of the hearing as well as the government of Delta State. It is our prayer, God Almighty, grant you journey mercy for home, and He, God, will bless the works of your hand. Thank you and God bless us. Very Reverend Emmanuel Ede in his remarks said, when he was appointed as late Chief Sonny Odogo's spiritual director, he saw his deep love for the Catholic Church, which made him make a promise to him in his lifetime that his burial would follow the rich Catholic tradition. He also said the late Chief Sonny Odogo was a man who puts Delta State, especially Asaba people, on his shoulders. Yeah. 
Still in the tribute session, the Most Reverend Emmanuel Chukuma said, The late Chief Sonny Uediko Dogo is a deep Catholic, a very hard-working man with a selfless mind. Today, when the body likes to come out, Chief Sonny Udogo will remember as the first African-American in the U.S. that has established estates Major shareholders hold about 16% of shares, and the five staff of the Bay Hotel, with the 19 whole golf course attached to it, called the Medicine Plaza Hotel in Mountain Beach, Los Angeles, and the Golden University. Chief Scott of Golden was the first capitalist to build a multi-million agricultural body opening sack industry and multi filament manufacturing industry. They employed about 1,200 employees in the Midwestern and Eastern Nigeria, Northern Nigeria. In the vote of thanks, son of the late Chief Sonny Odogo, Mr. Kenneth Odogo, thanked everyone who came to pay their last respects to his father, who he described as a father of all. Mr. Kenneth Odogo said he was stunned when he got home and saw guests who came from far and wide in honor of his late father. I'd like to say thank you very much indeed. To all of you for making it here, but I'd like to specifically say thank you to a couple of people. And I need to say specifically because so many people have really, really contributed to making this very old ceremony a success. The internment followed immediately, as the late Chief Sonny Wedigo Dogu was laid to Mother Earth amidst tears. The reception followed next at the Dome Event Center at Saba, where guests were treated to good music, food, and drinks. Guests at the reception were the Vice Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2019 election, Mr. Peter Obi, Professor Pato Tomei, Otsumba Adekule Ojora and wife, Ire Lujo Olakwe Ojora, the Lurugu Oscar Ibro, the chairman of the Island Club, who led some members of the prestigious Island Club to the event, among many others. There was a lot of excitement as Ima Greg and the Shibango Band dished out great music as guests danced and grooved all night long. <laughs> I'm not 
Still in the spirit of celebrating the life of the late Chief Sonny Widiko Dogu CFR, the Ideahaba of Asaba, meaning the Pillar of Asaba, on Saturday, the 26th of January, 2019, the late Chief Sonny Udogu was given a befitting Igwata traditional burial rite at Udogu Villa, King Street's Umuaji Quarters, Asaba, Delta State, the family house of Chief Sonny Udogu. According to the rich Asaba culture, the Igwata traditional burial rite is a traditional rite to celebrate eminent personalities. The late Chief Sonny Udogu Udogu was a high chief of Asaba. So he was given a befitting Igwata traditional burial rite to celebrate his diligent service to humanity. Noble laureate Professor Wale Shoinka was present to witness the rich traditional culture of the Asaba people, which was loaded with a lot of excitement. The children and grandchildren of the late Chief Sonny Widiko Dogu, led by Mr. Kenneth Odogu, were engaged in several dances alongside different traditional dance groups. There was great excitement as different group of Asaba women dressed in matching traditional attires, akin to the people of Asaba in Delta State, paraded and danced in honor of the late Ideahaba of Asaba, the late chief Sonny Odogu. <laughs> The Nwabuza PC Music and Cultural Group took things to another level with more amazing traditional music as one of the sons of the late Chief Sonny Wediki Odogu, Mr. Kenneth Odogu, alongside his siblings, joined in dancing. On Sunday, the 27th of January, 2019, there was an outing mass for the late Chief Sonny Odogu at St. Joseph's Catholic Church, Asaba, where family members, friends, and well-wishers of the late Chief Sonny Odogu came out in their numbers to give all thanks to the Almighty God for a life well spent by the late Chief Sonny Wediko Odogu. The service featured mainly hymnals and high praises to God, after which a photo and video session ended the service.
from Biscon Communications. We commiserate with the wife of the late Chief Sonny Widiko Odogu CFR, Mrs. Theresa Odogu, and the entire Odogu family. We pray that the soul of the late Chief Sonny Iwidigo Odogu find eternal rest in the bosom of our Lord. Amen. <laughs>